Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Simon. Today I will show you how to modify and upgrade your DJI RC remote control. This is a new remote control from DJI. Now it is used on DJI Mini 3 Pro and Mavic 3 Classic. Its a pair of built-in antennas are on both sides of the front end, quite different from the previous one in design. DJI RC is remote control with its own screen, and it has a great design, a very strong integrity, and a compact design. We are going to upgrade it and add an alien tag external antenna. Just like this, add it here. We designed a brand new RC kit for it. The one I have is still a 3 printed version. We will release the version later, but we have started this remote control. It's dismountable, and this part can be opened. Let's transform it now. In addition to this, we also have a feeder that is commonly used by Martians. The tools we use are X-shaped and flat blade screwdrivers. In fact, this flat blade screwdriver is mainly used as a crowbar. Here is a T6 Tools screwdriver, but I'm not sure if I will use it later. There's a pair of tweezers and a newly added 5mm drill bit and a head drill for the two small holes. Well, let's get started now. Let's modify the remote control. The first step is to protect the screen of the remote control first. There are two screw holes inside it. Let's pry it out with tweezers first. This is the joystick of the remote control rod. We took out this part with tweezers. This is the rubber part. We can slowly and gently pry it off from the side. It is stuck with double-sided adhesive inside. Make it. It's taken out like this. It is glued inside with adhesive tab. After opening, there are two screws that need to be removed. We use a Phillips screwdriver to take it out. The bottom of the remote control is the same as the RC Pro control. There are two small screws inside. After removing these four screws, all the shell screws will be taken out. Next, pry the whole surface off. We can use a flathead screwdriver to pry open the remote control, but there is a problem. It is easy to leave very ugly slide marks on the edge of it when prying it open. So here we use a relatively easier method using C-shaped clamps. The C-clamp is available at most hardware stores. You can see that this is a C-shaped clamp. We can use some protective paper to protect the position of the clamp. Last time, I showed you our big killer in the RC Pro modification video, so we won't introduce it in detail this time. We can easily open the cover of the remote control without damage with it. We just need to make sure that it can be clamped. After clamping, we start to tighten the clamp. After tightening, we only need to apply a little more force. Amazing! Okay, its shell is already opened. Look, it was easily opened. Then slowly pry it open. Well, it is simple enough. This is the easiest and safest way to open the lid. Be careful when opening the cover of the remote control. There are wires connected inside the top and bottom shell. These are two antennas. Let's take them out. I will remove them first and put them aside. There's a metal plate that we need to take apart. This is an aluminum heat sink. The blue glue here is heat dissipating silicone. Don't touch it, or it will dirty your hands. Okay, let's take the two antennas off and put them aside first. Then, let's install our prank kit. Because this is still a 3D printing version, it is wide inside, so we can tighten it. There's a notch here, put it in place. Okay, that's it. Get ready first. So let's put it aside first. Okay, so let's install the blanket first. After disassembling, we will have such a blanket. 
Let's put it in from below. Just press it tight. Don't lock the screws first, and then we thread down this rivet like fastener, which is used to fix the bracket. But we need to make a hole here first. Let's install it, and then we need to open these two holes. There is another one that is also the same. Okay, it's done. We can check it after we finish. There is a bracket as a template to open the hole. So the position of the open hole is completely accurate. We only need to put two fastening bolts in and tighten the nuts at the back. Got it. We can screw the nuts on first now. Next, we secure the fixture into the slot and tighten the nut on the back to make the bracket secure. And then, we install the cover with the feeder wire. Pass the feeder wire through the hole of the fixed shaft. After fastening, we can use a screw to secure it. We should take care that the internal feeder wire should not be bent at 90 degrees. Otherwise, it would damage the feeder wire. RF feeder wire is kind of coaxial cable. If its shielding layer is damaged, the signal will leak and affect the transmission quality of the signal. But after screwing it in, we have to bucket it back, and this is how it is. Alright, done. Go on to it. We'd better align the two positions. Left to left, right to right, and just put them in. The conductive foam just now actually does not need to pass it back. In this case, we can cover it back. Let's screw it all back first. Then we plug the sock of the wire back in and plug this part in too. At this time, we can already check to see if its booting is normal. Great, it is not activated. So let's turn it off first. Okay, no problem. Let's buckle it back carefully, and we must pay special attention not to press the wire during this process. Finally, we are going to screw it back in with these two screws. Then, let's tighten up. Do all the buttons and the control work well? Okay, looks good. Finally, let's screw the last four screws back. Don't forget, two on the back of the control and two in tiny holes on the underside. The joystick can still go in here. Alright. Now, let's attach the alien tag antenna. Perfect. That's it. The angle of the antenna can be adjusted. The knob can be used to further secure the antenna. Cool. Finally, let's plug in the joystick. And we can fly the drone whenever we want. With an alien tag external antenna. The red line means that it needs to be recalibrated, the joystick. It needs to be recalibrated. Now it is not calibrated. It can be turned off. Great. Thanks again for watching. I wish you all a good time.